I'm going to tell you a story. A story about triumph, courage, fear, and everything in between. But to do that, I first need you to take a deep breath. Take another deep breath. Now imagine with every one of those deep breaths become questions, uncertainty, and fear. That fear that that might be your last breath. That fear that that breath might be the thing that cripples you. That fear that the crippling nature of those breaths are exactly what we're afraid of. Now, imagine you take that deep breath and you continue to just take a deep breath without having to think about your next one or the one after that or the one after that. That is what we're here today to talk about. So let me take a moment and tell you my name. I am Nicholas Kelly. I'm a 36-year-old male living with cystic fibrosis. But I am so much more than that. And today, I will let you know, because today, I am so excited to be part of the CFRI's continued research. But why? It sounds good. We want to raise some money. We want to do some nice things. But why? Why does research matter? Because there are so many faces that you do not see. So many faces that do not look like me. I am merely one story here to tell you. And I'm going to tell you my story. 36 years ago, I was diagnosed with cystic fibrosis. But my story was not like unlike many others. Because why? 36 years ago, they didn't believe African Americans could have this disease. So no one would test me. So as I continued to get sicker and sicker, it was actually my mother who learned the symptoms and she diagnosed me. A problem is some of that rhetoric still exists. Why? Because of rare mutations and differences in what is the norm. The norm is so often what we allow to get complacent of. The norm is just going with the status quo. The norm is not what got us here. It's got us to a place where research has happened that has helped brighten and shape the lives of so many people with CF. So many people that I love have now had the opportunity to do things I couldn't think they would be able to do, and that is breathe. I have lost more people to this disease than I can count. So when people ask me, Nick, what's your modulator status? or trichafta status, as I like to call it. I'm trichafta single, you know? They're currently out living their life, seeing, seeing people. We're just not at that place yet. But that doesn't mean that my trichafta isn't out there. What it means is it just hasn't been created yet. So I, Nicholas Kelly, wait for the day that I am no longer in a situation ship. I am no longer single. I am whatever the new drug might be. I am married to that. And it is married to me to help give me opportunities to extend my life, to watch my friends and family grow up and get old. And most importantly, my friends and family have an opportunity to see me grow up and get old. That was ripped away from so many people I know. As I told you when I started this, I am merely one story. The problem is I am one story in a sea of so many stories that sound similar to mine. My mind is chasing, racing. I am sitting here pacing, thinking of everything that is wrong and everything that I cannot see. With every deep breath, I take another pause and it makes me, it makes me happy to see that people like you 
are going to be the difference for people like me. Research is meant to move the needle forward. That needle, as we move forward, is something that words cannot describe. And yes, we've done a great job. That needle has moved forward, but you know what we can't do? When the needle moves forward, it is no time to rest on our loyals. There is no time to sit here and give ourselves a congratulatory victory lap. There is no time for that. Why? Because there is no time for other people who are still facing this disease head on. The time for victory laps is when it is all done, when we all have something, when CF stands for cure found. Cure found. Not curiosity. Fundamental foundations as we wait for something else. Cure. The ability to no longer have to imagine what happens when you take that deep breath and you go, <gasps> <laughs> and it hurts that pain that pressure I no longer want to feel that pain that pressure I no longer want you to have to imagine what that feels like because I want to tell you I want to be able to say remember that time when that used to happen like yesterday that yesteryear back in my day back in my day I can tell the people growing up and the CFers growing up that man you don't know how good you got it young blood that is what I'm living that is what I advocate for. For people like you, you, put the onus on you, every one of you. Those people are the people that can make the difference. That difference is simple. We need to find a way to push forward, to push forward while understanding the people who have been left behind. That is what drives us. That's what will continue to drive us to make the difference so that I no longer have to talk about the people I've lost. I no longer have to hope my family gets to see me grow. I no longer have to hope that my cousin, my brother, my sister have to wonder what's next. Because more than anything, and this is the thing I want you to take away from any event, any statement, anything that we do. More importantly, this community is so strong because we drive and we fight for each other and we find a way to make forging bonds and last past ourselves because more than anything, I want y'all to understand I am one single voice. Nicholas Kelly is only one single voice. Understand, I don't do this for the me, I do this for the we. I need you to understand, I don't do this for the me, I do this for the we. One more time in case you can understand why I'm passionate, why I live, I don't do this for the me. I do this for the we. And we need your help.